All right, we'll go ahead and call a meeting Tuesday, November 18th, 2014. It is now 9.30 a.m. Can we have a roll call, please? Commissioner Tedesco? Commissioner Henry? Yes. Commissioner Hansen? Okay, if we could stand and say the Pledge of Allegiance. Can I have a motion to approve the, the agenda? Commissioner right. Hansen? Aye. Commissioner Henry? Yes. All right, next is award and presentations. And tonight, today we have a proclamation for November 19, 2014, as Ge Geographic Information Systems. And did I have a script? Just the proclamation. Just the proclamation. Okay. All right. All right. GIS Day, November 19th, 2014, whereas a geo geographic information systems integrates hardware, software, and data for capturing, managing, analyzing, and displaying all forms of geographical referenced information, and whereas GIS is an important part of, ge of geography awareness, allowing us to view, un understand, question, interpret, and visualize data in many ways that reveal relationships, patterns, and trends in the form of maps, globes, reports, and charts. And whereas GIS technologies are powerful tools for supporting emergency services, homeland security, economic development, environmental protection, crime mapping, health care, long-range planning, and much more. And whereas there is a need to promote GIS awareness, education, technical training among various groups to most appropriately and wisely use this rapidly developing technology. Now, therefore, be it resolved, resolved that the Board of County, I need glasses, the Board of <laughs> County Commissioners of the County of Adams, State of Colorado, does hereby proclaim Wednesday, November 19, 2014, GIS Day in Adams County, Charles Chaz Tedesco, Eva J. Henry, and Eric Hansen. Is there anyone we give this to or? We do. We have someone here. All right. Do you want to come forward and speak? try to keep it brief. Thank you, commissioners. Um, you know, every year there's an annual salute to geospatial technology, its power to transform and better our lives. So on Wednesday, the Business Solutions Group is going to be providing a short presentation on how business solutions and our external service partners are using GIS and other spatial technologies to enhance and innovate for, for Adams County. So if anyone wants to join Ch Charles Osterman, and Chris Park tomorrow in Brantner C in the conference center. Uh, we'd love to see you there from 12 to 1. Okay, so that's great. It. And are we doing pictures? We are. All right. Yeah. Pictures. Yeah. Come on, everybody. All right, next is public comment. Is there anyone signed up for public comment? There's no one signed up to speak. Okay, next is elected officials communication. Commissioner Hansen, no. All right, next is, can I have a motion to approve the consent calendar? So, so moved. I second. Uh, Commissioner Hansen? Aye. Commissioner Henry? Yes. 
All right, next is new business. County Manager, what do you have for us? Uh, we have seven items this morning, uh, Commissioners. Um, our first one is a resolution to accept a bid from Edge Contracting Incorporated to replace three bridges for the Transportation Department. Eliza Strada with Purchasing is here to talk through that. Good morning. Uh, there are three bridges scheduled for replacement, and these are the Colorado Boulevard Bridge over the Signal Ditch, East 136th Avenue over Fulton Ditch, and East 144th Avenue over the Fulton Ditch. Uh, construction is scheduled to begin next month and completed before irrigation se season begins. The contractor will install precast bo box culverts, construct head walls, wings, walls, cutoff walls, riprap, and soil, retention blanket, guardrails, asphalt, and roadway striping for all three bridges. Bids were opened on November 7th of this year, and we received four bids. The uh, Transportation Department did confirm that the lowest responsive and responsible bidder is EDGE Contracting and recommends awarding the project to them in the amount of $648,584. All right. Commissioner Hansen, do you have any? Okay. Do I have a motion? Sure. I move to accept a bid from EDGE Contracting to replace three bridges for the Transportation Department. And I second. Commissioner Hansen? Aye. Commissioner Henry? Yes. Um, our next item is a resolution to accept a bid from Copeland Precast Incorporated for three precast box culverts for the Transportation Department. Liz is here to talk through those again. So Adams County will be replacing uh, three box culverts, which are in relation to the three bridges I just discussed previously, which is the Colorado Boulevard over the Signal Ditch, East 36th Avenue over the Fulton Ditch, and East 144th Avenue over the Fulton Ditch. Uh, construction must be completed by March 1st of 2015 while the water levels are low. And by purchasing the pre-cast box culverts, we can reduce the construction period and limit the road closers, which will benefit the citizens. We did open bids on October 31st of this year, and we received three bids. After reviewing the bids, the Transportation Department determined that Copeland Precast is the lowest responsive and responsible bidder and recommends awarding the precast um, building of the culvert in the amount of $126,680. Commissioner Hanson, do you have any questions? I do not. Okay, can I have a motion, please? Sure. I would move to accept a bid from Copeland Precast Inc. for three precast box culverts for the Transportation Department. And I second. Commissioner Hanson? Aye. Commissioner Henry? Yes. Item number three uh, is a resolution to accept a bid for Man Lakes uh, flood repairs for the Parks and Community Resources Department. And Liz is again here. The Man Lakes reservoirs were damaged on September 13th uh, during the flood. The repairs needed to return the reservoirs back to their pre-flood condition consists of repairing eroded areas with select fill material and removal disposal of excess and unacceptable materials, constructing armoring at damaged locations. Uh, FEMA granted Adams County extension to complete the work by June 12th of 2015 and also to submit all the required forms for reimbursement. Bids were open on October 30th of this year, and we received three bids. The lowest responsive responsible bidder is RMC Consultants in the amount of $744,151. And they are deemed the lowest responsive and responsible bidder. The regional park recommends awarding um, the repairs to RMC Consultants. All right. Any questions, Commissioner? All right. Can I have a motion? I would move to um, accept a bid for the Man Lakes flood repairs uh, for the Parks and Community Resources Department. Okay, second. Commissioner Hansen? Aye. Commissioner Henry? Yes. Thank you. Okay, item number four um, is a resolution approving addendum two with the Adams County Housing Authority funded through the 2014-15 TANF budget for the Adams County Human Services Department. Heidi Castile with purchasing is here. Good morning, Commissioners. Adams County Human Services Department receives a temporary assistance for needy families, a TANF grant from the federal government to assist with the goals of the Human Services Department's Children and Family Divisions Program Services. These program services are designed to stabilize, strengthen, and connect children and families with community services. Purch the Purchasing Division received a request from the Human Services Department to renew an agreement with Adams County Housing Authority to provide housing assistance, homeless prevention, housing-related counseling, 
and classes, including housing counseling workshop for the home ownership program. The Board of County Commissioners approved the above agreement and extension at various public hearing um, hearings as listed. Uh, the agreement was approved on January 16, 2013, and the first option year extension was approved on October 7, 2013. Adams, housing, Adams County Housing Authority currently provide housing assistance, homeless prevention, housing-related counseling and classes, including housing counseling workshops and home ownership programs currently. Their program expectations for the term of the agreement by providing their home ownership program for 472 individuals, uh, the stop foreclosure workshop for 259 individuals, and the rent and utility workshop for 553 individuals. The Adams County Housing Authority has provided 81 families with direct financial assistance in the amount of $81,588, especially uh, specifically from the funds from this agreement in the past. The fees for the housing assistance and domestic violence um, housing and homeless prevention program for option year two will not exceed $102,700. The, house, uh, the county's Housing um, Human Services Department is satisfied with the agency's program <coughs> services and would like to renew the last option year of the agreement for the services described. Services were run from January 2015 to December 31st, 2015. Purchasing and the human service staff reviewed the agency's option year fees and it was determined that their fees are considered fair and reasonable for the scope of services for the program and purchases in, is in agreement with the renewal recommendation to Adams County Housing Authority in the amount not to exceed $102,700. And the recommendation action is that the board approves the renewal of the human service agreement with Adams County Housing Authority. Okay. Any questions, Commissioner? Nope. Do you have a motion? I would move to uh, approve addendum two with the Adams County Housing Authority, uh, funded through the 2014-15 TANF budget for the Adams County Human Services Department. Okay, and I second. Commissioner Hanson? Aye. Commissioner Henry? Yes. Um, item number five is resolution approving addendum two with Almost Home Incorporated, funded through the 2014-15 TANF budget for the Adams County Human Services Department. Heidi is again here to talk through that. With the TANF program being established, I would like to just move into the uh, request to extend the next option year. The purchasing division received a request from the Human Services Department to renew the agreement with Almost Homes, Inc. to provide shelter and homeless prevention services to residents in Brighton and, nor and the northern part of the county um, for their TANF program. The Board of County Commissioners approved the agreement and the extension at various hearings. The agreement was approved in, on January 16, 2013, and the op first option year, October 7, 2013. Almost Home, Inc. currently provides shelter and homelessness prevention services for residents in Brighton and the northern part of the county. Almost Home has met the Human Services Department's expectations for the term of the agreement by providing the following services during the contract term. They assisted 119 families with rent, 187 families with utilities, and 24 families with other services. In addition, Almost Home Inc. partnered with Ames Community College to provide GED classes and testings. The fees for the shelter and homeless prevention services for option year two will not exceed $107,325. The county's Human Services Department is satisfied with the agency's program services and would like to renew the last option year of the agreement for the services described. The services will run from January 1st, 2015 to December 31st, 2015. Purchasing and the human services staff reviewed the agency's option year fees and it was determined that their fees are considered fair and reasonable for the scope of services for the programs. Purchasing is in agreement with the renewal recommendation to Almost Home, Inc. in the amount not to exceed $107,325. And the recommendation is that the board approve the renewal of Human Services Agreement with Almost Home, Inc. Commissioner, do you have any questions? A motion, please. Uh, 
would like to move to approve addendum two with almost home funded through the 2014-50 TANF budget for the Adams County Human Services Department. Okay, a second. Commissioner Hanson. Aye. Commissioner Henry. Yes. Number uh, seven is a resolution, I'm sorry, six, yeah, uh, item six. Resolution authorizing and approving a lease purchase agreement for certain property and in connection herewith, herewith a site lease and indenture of trust and related documents and transactions. To explain that is Rich Lemke, our finance director. That's a mouthful, isn't no, it? Rich, Rich Lemke, <laughs> director of finance, Adams County. Apologize, I got a cold here, so um, bear with me. Um, what you have before you is uh, the, the resolution that will allow the county to refinance the 2003 certificates of participation that are now callable at uh, lower interest rates. The projected savings on the deal are between 800 to 900,000. The uh, parameters of the resolution is the aggregate principal amount of the new certificates that will be authorized shall not exceed $9 million. They're projected to, the issue is projected to be about $8.7 8 The interest rate shall not exceed 2.5% because we haven't locked in interest rates yet. Um, and they're, they're changing daily. Currently, the interest rates that we've just received as of this morning are about 2.1%. And the, the uh, final maturity shall not be later than December 20, 31st, excuse me, 2023, which is the original ending date. So we're not extending the length of the original certificates either. There's nine years left, and this new issue will be for nine years. Um, I do have a change. We had to, to because we have not selected the, uh, the final bank yet, the, the legal structure of the transaction could change. And so I've added the following statement to section four of the resolution, and it reads this. Provided, however, that if such official determines that a direct lease structure with the suitable investor is most beneficial to the county and its inhabitants, then the site lease and lease may be so modified to accommodate such changes as approved in the final terms certificate. So... With that, I'd ask for your approval of the resolution. Okay. Any questions, Commissioner? No. Nope. Sounds like a good deal to me. Okay. Can I have a motion, please? Sure. I would move to um, approve. Let's get the right thing up here. <coughs> I would move to approve um, the. Um, yeah, we're on six, right? Right. Authorizing and approving a lease purchase agreement for certain properties and in connection therewith, a site lease and an indenture of trust and related documents and transactions. And Commissioner, is that with the amendment as read Yes, by with the amendment as indicated. Thank you. Okay. Second. Commissioner Hanson. Aye. Commissioner Henry. Yes. Thank you, Rich. Uh, Item number seven now, uh, resolution approving second amendment to purchase and sale agreement between Adams County and IBC Denver, um, 8 LW4 uh, uh, LLC for Park 1200 property and approving execution and easement documents to be delivered at closing. Sean Brain, our facilities project manager, is here to talk through that. Good morning. Um, about two months ago, the Board of County Commissioners approved a first amendment to the purchase sale, agree uh, sale agreement that established an escrow for work to be done post-closing by the developer. In the last couple months, they've been able to expedite the work compared to what was planned, so the second amendment simply requests that we modify the amount of that escrow, uh, reducing it by the amount that they were able to complete. In addition to that, we're also asking that appropriate county staff be authorized to uh, sign and execute the, es the uh, closing documents for the property. Okay. Any question, Commissioner? No. Nope. Can I have a motion? Sure. Uh, just a brief comment before I move to approve this. I want to, first of all, thank the voters for approving the uh, measure uh, a couple of weeks ago because I think that it gives us a tremendous amount of flexibility uh, to do this project, which we would probably, well, well, we would have done anyway, but but regardless, I, I think it helps tremendously. And, and um, I, you know, I also want to thank the commissioners and the staff for looking at 
uh, re-looking at you know the building use plan which was developed years ago before actually I think anybody in this room was even here um, except, except Rich. maybe Rich Lemke um, <laughs> and Mike Goings and that's it um, because I, I, I really true. truly believe that this is the right way to go you know rather than trying to consolidate all of our services at this location let's take the services to the location that it's needed um, and with that I'd like to move to approve us the second amendment to purchase and sale agreement between Adams County and IBC Denver I don't know if that's Roman numeral 8 or VIII, LW4, LLC for Park 1200 property and approving execution of easement documents to be delivered at closing. I second. Commissioner Hansen? Aye. Commissioner Henry? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. All right. County Attorney. Good morning, Commissioners. This is the second reading, and then I will ask that the Commissioners actually adopt Ordinance 12. And this is an ordinance repealing the 2006 edition of the International Building Codes and adopting the 2012 edition of the International Building Codes and the 2006 edition of the International Energy Conservation Code with amendments thereto. And as indicated in the first reading, there are significant amendments listed at the end of this ordinance, and those will be adopted with the ordinance. And the ordinance is set to become effective January 1. All right. Commissioner, do you have any questions? I do not. Okay, do I have a motion? Sure, I'd move uh, to approve the second reading and adopt an ordinance number 12, repealing the 2006 edition of the International Building Codes and adopting the 2012 edition of the International Building Codes and the 2006 edition of the International Energy Conservation Code with amendments thereto. All right, and a second. C Commissioners, can I ask, I, I don't believe there's anyone here to make public comment, but can we oh, just clarify that for sure. the record? Sure, absolutely. So anyone here in the pub public like to speak? Since I see only staff, <laughs> I'm assuming no. <laughs> All right. Nice second. Commissioner Hansen. Aye. Commissioner Henry. Yes. All right. And that's it. We'll go ahead and adjourn at uh, 9.50.